Uh, Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's up? Uh, donate to free speech uh, television. and We need independent media in this country. I have a situation here in Seattle, uh, Tom, where it looks like a law and order style Republican may become our new city attorney, replacing the current city attorney, Pete Holmes, who was a reform-minded guy who was, was very proud of the pot that he bought at Seattle's first legal pot shop. And I've always kept his business card in my wallet in case I got arrested as a journalist while covering the protest. But Pete lost his seat in the three-way race during the primary, and now Ann Davison, who switched from the Democratic Party to the Republicans last year, is now ahead in the polls, largely due to a big smear campaign sponsored by conservative business interests, including Vulcan, the real estate and construction empire built by Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen, and they're casting the public defender running against Davison, and her name is Nicole Thomas Kennedy. They're casting her as some crazy anti-cop radical, claiming that based on her past tweets, she encourages writing, she hates cops, and will refuse to prosecute most cases that are brought before her, which are all big exaggerations, of course. And um, she, Nicole Thomas Kennedy, is certainly no radical anarchist, but she was outraged by police brutality perpetrated against the Black Lives Matter protesters last year. And spoke so out is your election the there in Seattle next Tuesday? Yes, it's coming up on Tuesday, and unfortunately, Davis and the Republican is ahead in the polls. Now, luckily, there are a lot of undecided in these recent polls, so it could switch at the last moment. But it's not looking good right now for police reform in Seattle, considering uh, Davison's attitude about the police department. And why are Seattle and Portland always used as scapegoats for everything that the right wing thinks is wrong with liberal politics? Tom, I'm really getting tired of it. The yeah. smear campaign is just propaganda. Well, I can't simple. speak for Seattle, Mark, but I can tell you that in Portland, in my opinion, uh, my respectful opinion, uh, this city has not been well run. Uh, we've got we've got some serious problems that are not being addressed by the city council and by the mayor. And uh, so there's a there's a whole movement here uh, called uh, a better Portland. Or I'm, I'm forgetting the title of it, but there's a whole movement here that to, it, it is totally nonpartisan. To, to do something about it. And it's not to get Republicans in office. But Mark, good luck there. I wish you the very best and, and, uh, and Seattle as well. And my apologies to everybody else. Give us a shout next week and we'll continue the conversation. Special thanks to Louise Hartman, Sean Taylor, Nate Atwell, Jamie Holly, Joyce the Hammer. Uh, we should call her Joyce the Zombie, Nance. Um, <laughs> or Vance, excuse me. Nigel Peacock, Sue Nethercutt, Patrick White, Gerilyn Halbert, Ron Hartenbaum, Chase Spross, Nicholas Miller, Pat Sweeney, Jabbermocky, Jay LeBlanc, Connor Arroyo, and Carna Verde. Have a great weekend. Get active. There's an election coming up. Make sure everybody you know is ready to go. Tag your it. We'll see you, see you on You've Monday. You've been listening to Tom Hartman. For audio and video archives, visit TomHartman.com.